Welcome to your Monday Morning Pearl. I'm Steve Keck. Eventually, when your sales team is growing, you are going to have to adjust your sales process. And before you do that, I want to spend the next few weeks helping you understand the mechanics of adopting a new sales process. There are several things to focus on when you're trying to decide what new process needs to be implemented. As sales leaders, we often choose the sales process that we think is going to fit. And twice this week, I've actually talked to top sales guys who have laughingly described the process that was dictated to them. <laughs> and here's why that matters. As a sales leader, with top salespeople speaking like that about your new process, you've already found resistance. And that means a sizable percentage of the entire process will probably not get adopted. And one of the main reasons I see when companies try to bring in a new sales process, it's often for the wrong end game. It's often an executive who is looking for actionable insight into how the sales life cycle works in their company so they can effectively forecast where they're going in the future. The problem with this is it often sideswipes the entire sales team in the process that's currently working. So if you're trying to build adoption of your frontline sales team by bringing a top-down approach, you may have started from the wrong place. And the opposite is true. I also see sales leaders tend to lean on their one top salesperson in order to define the process, hoping that the rest of the team will operate like that one person. And when you do that, you sometimes create the environment where you're trying to make everyone look like the unicorn. And they're just not built like that, and it's probably not gonna work. And both tend to fall into an adoption ditch. And your sales process gets diminished back to a core set of behaviors that often don't help your executives get what they want or the salespeople shorten their sales cycles. So ultimately, when you're deciding how to implement a new sales process, you need to be looking for both adoption and effective outcomes. And if you don't balance those two things and make sure everyone understands what it takes to make those two things happen, you're going to run into some hurdles for getting a sales process to work. And that will ultimately affect your ability to lead the right people. So over the next few weeks, we're gonna focus on the mechanics of what it takes to drive good adoption of your sales process. So I want you to ask yourself these two questions. First, is my sales team truly adopting the sales process? And two, are the executives getting actionable insights from the process? If one of those is no, you may need to take a look at what it needs to change to make a process that works. So stick with me over the next few weeks as we break down the mechanics of implementing a new sales process. And if you or your organization need some guidance on how to help your salespeople do the right things the right way repeatedly, reach out to us and let's have a conversation. At Span the Chasm, we don't build cookie cutter solutions, we build custom solutions for your business and your team because we know what it takes to make a sales process work. So find us on our website or one of our social channels.